Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on powers and thirds. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. You will have an opportunity to subscribe to my channel at the end of the video. You are also invited to share this video with your friends. Thank you in anticipation. Introduction. In this video we will see how to simplify various calculations involving powers and roots. Example 1. Simplify 2 and a half all cubed. So we change 2 and a half to 5 over 2. 5 cubed is 125. 2 cubed is 8. 125 over 8 is 15 and 5 eighths. Example 2. Simplify 0 0.3 all squared. Now when you square something, you just multiply it by itself. 3 3's are 9, there's the 9. So the answer is 0 0.09. Now you might say, how did I get this answer? How did I know where to put the decimal point? Well here is the very, very important note. In the answer, we must have the same number of digits after the decimal point as the total number of digits in the original example after it has been expanded. In other words, here's the original example. Here we have one digit after the decimal point and here we have one digit after the decimal point. Altogether there are two digits after the decimal point. So in the answer you have two digits after the decimal point. And that's how you determine where the decimal point goes and how many digits after the decimal point. Example 3, point zero 0.02 all cubed. Point zero 0.02 by point zero 0.02 by point zero 0.02 and the answer is point zero 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 0.00008. Note, the total number of digits after the decimal points in the example was 6. 2, 4, 6. This is the same in the answer. You can see here there are 6 digits after the decimal point. The square root of 1 and 7 ninths, most times it's quite handy to transform that over here. That's 16 over 9. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 9 is 3. 4 over 3 is 1 and 1 third. Example 5, the square root of 1.69. Now that's the same as 1 and 69 over 100, which is 169 over 100. The square root of 169 is 13. The square root of 100 is 10. 13 over 10 is 1 and 3 tenths. And finally, the square root of 6.25 is the same as the square root of 6 and a quarter which is the square root of 25 over 4, and that's 5 over 2, which is 2 and a half. Here's a quick quiz to help you. Please check through the video at any time. What is the meaning of the following? Anti-clockwise. I think you'll be able to see that. Here are the answers to the quick quiz, and please check through the video at any time. It's there to help you. If you found this video useful, please subscribe on the next slide. You will receive a notification when the next video is available. Please share with your friends. Hope to see you next lesson.